Dom, where are you at? Dom, it's been over a month. Dom, have you made any other inventions? Dom, what projects are you working on? Dom, why have we not seen you? Dom, please come back, we need more content. Well guess what motherfuckers? I am back and I got a brand new thing that I made and quite proud of this too, okay? The reason I haven't posted in a long time, except for that 300 pound bench that I did, pretty happy about that too because I've been working on this project and it took a lot of brain cells to make this. So the project was this. It was a card playing robot and my inspiration was from this YouTube video. Um, I'll see if I can post in the background or maybe post a picture of the, the channel. And this dude, like this dude made like machine robots play Uno using AI and machine learning techniques. And dude, I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty amazed when I saw that. I was like, holy shit. And I was like, this is brilliant. I have to make the Walmart version of this so it can be more accessible to the people because that's what we do on this YouTube channel. We make inventions accessible to the people. So that's what I did. And this is what it can do. This is how it works. I have these 3D printed parts to make a 3D printed arm and it uses the servo motors to have the correct position of where all the cards are. And then it uses a little vacuum pump to suck the cards up whenever I want it to. Once the card gets sucked up, it again goes to a reader, an RFID module, so the algorithm can identify what card it is. And look, I want to be very classy and I want to use OpenCV on my Raspberry Pi 4 in order to make this work. But guess what? That motherfucking Cameron module did not work. I don't even know why, bro. But like, every time I try to put a Raspberry Pi camera and I hooked it with the ribbon cable into the um, Raspberry Pi 4, the Raspberry Pi 4 could not detect that a camera was like on it and it pissed me off beyond my mind. It took me like, I tried for probably a solid week and a half to fix this so I could use computer vision to solve it. And I also bought a little USB web camera so I could try to use that but the software was just, it's just so much easier if you could use an actual Raspberry Pi camera. So I opted for the second route and the inspiration for this was another YouTube video I saw, and I'll post in the background right now. He used a little RF ID module and a little tag, put it stuck on the back of a card, and it could read you the card. And in case you're blind, but like, let's be a blind person isn't playing cards anyway. So I don't know why he made it, but it was useful to me. So I'm glad he did. But now let's get back to how this module right here actually works. So. Once it scans the card, goes into the algorithm, and the Raspberry Pi has a set algorithm, so it has like set instructions of what it's to do when it receives a card. And I did not put machine learning into this because I really have no idea how to do it. But since I am using a Raspberry Pi, it's I have that ability to do it in the future if I want to. But right now, it's a set algorithm to play the uh, card game Scat. So, the robot's playing scat right now. So it scans, it picks three cards up from the deck, it scans them all. It determines what suit is most abundant. For example, let's say it picks up a three of diamonds, a seven of clubs, and an eight of clubs. So the algorithm's like, eight of clubs is the most abundant, so let's go searching for clubs. So, when it's its turn, 
It can identify the card that was played that someone faced up. And if it likes that card, because it's in the suit that it declared as most abundant, it picks it up and it gets rid of the card that's bad for the suit and it turns over. But if it doesn't like the face of card, then it can just pick a random card from the deck, determines if it likes it. If it doesn't like it, then it throws it away. And then once it has three cards in the suit that it declared as most abundant from the first round, it knocks on the LCD screen. It's going to print out the word knock, and that lets you know that it's done. And if someone else knocks before it, all you got to do is look at the cards that it has and determine if you like it or not. And you can easily reset the machine with the joystick and the LCD screen if you want to play another round after. But as of right now, I'm very, very satisfied with how this machine turned out. And I'm going to end this project right now and move on to the next one. And as always, please subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to blow this up so we can teach more about electronics to other people. And we can increase uh, the education to humanity about electronics so we can further accelerate AI growth and to better us. And if you also like all of this, please share with other people. So help me out, help the channel out. Okay, thank you. I'll see y'all later.